Please note, screws on all vertical posts face upward. Select a suitable level area for your build and locate gate and the gate post. The gate post is the only post with additional small vertical tubes. Start assembly by removing the gatekeeper screw from the gate post. Lay the gate post and gate on the ground with hinge side of the gate near the hinge post. Insert the top of the gate onto the hinge tube. Then, guide the bottom of the gate onto the bottom hinge tube. Push the gate downward and reinstall the gatekeeper screw to capture the gate. Be sure to loosen all Phillips screws on the vertical posts. Place latch post, intermediate post, corner post, and four horizontal rails on the ground as shown. Place the gate on the ground near the latch post. Push horizontal through the gate and into the latch post. Add two more horizontal rails and corner post. This layout will complete the gate side of the kennel. Tighten all screws with a number two Phillips screwdriver except the gate post. Leave screws loose at this point. Slide the gate toward the latch post, leaving two inches for latch operation. Now, tighten screws to secure gate placement. Test the gate and latch for proper operation. To begin the next side, stand completed gate side up and add two horizontal rails into the latch post and then add an intermediate post. Tighten all screws. Add another set of rails and corner post and tighten all screws. Continue building in the same manner to complete the kennel frame. With two people, lift the chain link fabric roll into a standing position. Drop a tension rod into the end links of the fabric. Attach the fabric to the post with five clips. Be sure the clip hooks are facing away from the kennel to keep pets safe. Unroll the fabric around the kennel frame. Wire ties can be used to loosely attach to tip rail if support is needed as you move around the frame. If chain link fabric is too long, the fabric may be shortened for the exact fit. You can cut fabric by removing a wire. Using pliers, unlock the knuckles at the top and bottom of the wire to be removed, then twist the wire out from the top. Attach the end of the roll in the same fashion using tension bar and five clips to secure to the hinge post. If there isn't enough tension on the chain link fabric, you can cut the roll again. Attach the fabric to the top rail with wire ties. Using pliers, twist the pre-bent end of the tie around the chain link fabric. Secure with a tie at the top of kennel every 18 inches. Attach the bottom in the same fashion. Secure fabric with a tie every 12 inches around the bottom of the kennel. Attach the fabric at intermediate posts with three evenly spaced ties. Check the gate and latch operation. The gate should open freely and swing in and out. Congratulations on creating a Lowe's secure enclosure for your pet. Please look for our other kennels at your local Lowe's store or on Lowe's.com.